Hi guys, this is Carrie with Rock and G Farm. Today I have two Arctic Fire red dogwood shrubs to plant up in two large pots. These dogwoods have taken an abuse from the grasshoppers um, this year in my front flower bed. And as many of you know, my front flower bed has issues with the soil trying to stay in the right spot. So my um, solution to that is to pot all of my shrubs and plants in pots and place those pots back out in the front flower bed. So this is what we're going to do today. I've already fed the chickens, moved the chickens, watered the cows, and watered the garden. So this is kind of my special little me time. So I'm going to get started with potting up these pots so that I can get that front flower bed looking awesome. Okay, so my red Arctic fire dogwood shrubs were sitting in pots with coasters underneath them so that we could maintain the moisture better in the little um, pots that they came in from the greenhouse. However, some of those pots contained too much water and when I pulled them out, they kind of smelled a little bit. So I am going to try to rinse off as much of the old soil that I can from these um, root balls of these red arctic fires and hopefully it won't shock their roots too much and it will help with any bacteria that was possibly growing in the soil from it being too wet. So let me go turn on the faucet and get started on cleaning up the root balls on my arctic fire dogwoods. see I got most of that soil off of that root ball this one was completely soaked so evidently I had been over watering it thinking that it was getting good drainage but evidently when I would had the on the the saucer on the bottom it was holding too much moisture but it doesn't smell soured anymore I might lose it but hey at least I tried also, you can see here, it doesn't have any leaves. <laughs> That's because of the grasshoppers. When I've been saying that we have been um, plagued by grasshoppers this summer, we have been plagued. Um, they have eaten everything down. It'll start getting new growth, new leaves like this right here. The grasshoppers will come back and eat all of the leaves off. Um, some of these branches that smaller ones up here are dead. I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut those off. But this down here at the bottom, that is still viable. And we're just going to go ahead and let this um, try to make it through to next summer. I'm gonna give it some TLC and some fertilizer and put it in a good pot that has good drainage and good soil. So we're gonna let this one continue to get all the extra moisture out because I added into what was already there. So we're just gonna sit him over here and let him continue to drain while I get the second one ready for the pot. The second one was drier. So evidently the, um, the saucer that I was in was allowing it to hold some moisture, but then again, let not contain it so much that it rotted the soil. Unfortunately, this one did because it didn't smell too good. It had a kind of soured smell onto the soil. So we'll finish letting this one get some of that extra moisture out and we'll go ahead and start potting up our pots. These pots also have holes that you punch out so that will have some drainage. When you do that, you need to be very careful because when I did that last week, I accidentally pushed too hard and I cracked the bottom a little bit and made a big hole, which is okay because you need holes in the bottom of your pots, but you don't want to make unsightly holes. So let's try this again. There we go. As you can see, right there, it popped out, right there. There we go. So we've got two holes popped out in the bottom of this one, and we'll just start putting our soil in. So I've 
the pot filled to about two inches from the top of the pot. Now I'm just gonna add some Biotone fertilizer just to help start the roots, give the roots a good boost for the starting of them. And um, I'm making a hole in the center to put the root ball. Let me take you over here and show you. So we're taking, making a hole and pushing the soil out to the side to make sure the plant doesn't touch the side of the container, but also to let it have a good place to start the root ball. I'm just gonna put a little bit of Biotone in the middle. it in and now we're ready for our plant so now I've got that pushed down into the center and I'm just going to take the soil that's on the sides and pull it up close to the root ball itself and I have just a little bit of roots on top exposed, so I'm just gonna make sure that some is up there, but not too close to the branches that are actually going into the soil to make sure that they can stay dry. But I just wanna make sure I have all of the roots covered. And then we're just gonna add some more soil as needed. down on the soil make sure that it's packed in there real good make sure that there's no air pockets on the roots or around the roots let's put a little bit more soil around the edges because this will settle over time And just take out some of these dead branches off the top. fire red are supposed to be in the winter in the winter their stems turn red they drop their foliage and so you get this beautiful red color in your yard and your landscaping over the winter time so that it will break up some of that yucky brown that everybody sees for several months so this will give you some color there is also a yellow dogwood and the stems do the same thing but they turn a bright chartreuse kind of yellow but I like red and so I've got these two they do get um, 35 feet tall and wide so they will be good for containers and if you get the big enough container you can leave them in the container for quite a while for at least a couple seasons at least and then you might need a pot up or you can transplant them at that time into your landscaping or just keep them in your pots and move them around from place to place as you want to change your landscaping without having to t actually get into the ground and and 
jig things up. So that's a great way to be able to do this is to get pots and put your plants in the pots and then move them wherever you want from season to season. Hi guys, thanks for joining me today as I potted up my red twig dogwood shrubs in a large pot here at the front flower bed. These are um, the Arctic Fire Red twig dogwoods from Proven Winners and they will get three to five feet tall and wide so this will be a great specimen for my front flower bed it will take up some good space and also it will give me great color for the fall and the winter because the twigs will turn red and hopefully with repotting them in these larger containers and giving them a little bit of love and a little bit of fertilizer and starter they will be able to <laughs> fight off the destruction that the grasshoppers have done this year on them and we'll cross our fingers and hopefully that when the spring comes they give us amazing growth and amazing foliage so let's cross our fingers together and hopefully these will grow thanks guys for joining me today in making my front flower bed beautiful and you make what you have beautiful work well.